Some parents are frustrated with lawmakers in Richmond after they failed to renew the tax-free holiday weekend. It's something everybody looks forward yeah. to. It's normally a weekend where you can save on back-to-school supplies, but not this year. ABC 13's Jacob Hunsinger took those concerns to local lawmakers. It's upsetting because when things like that come to light, it makes you feel, why are you working? Parents voicing their frustrations, calling out lawmakers after the tax-free holiday weekend for back-to-school shopping expired this year. Samara McCann is a mother of nine, so she knows they'll be losing money. A lot of families are still trying to play catch-up from bills and COVID and all those things, and a lot of parents look forward to this time to be able to save money. This comes as the General Assembly is still negotiating a budget with a surplus worth billions of dollars. I think if we have the surplus to be able to cover it, it's a nice benefit for families to be able to do that. You know, it was good while it lasted, you know, with the revenue that the state had, I wouldn't understand why it wasn't renewed, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. I asked our lawmakers how we got to this position. How is this something that was able to expire given the importance of that relief for Virginians? As I said, I was not a part of that negotiating committee, the budget conferees. I'm surprised it didn't make more news back when they arrived at this that they had left it out. We're going to do something to fix it. Peek says the tax-free weekend should be brought back and will be. Democratic Senator Scott Suravel disagrees, saying there are better ways to help Virginians even more. This particular holiday is worth $6 for every $100 you spend. The Senate Democratic Caucus has proposed sending back over $100, $200 per taxpayer in rebates this year alone. Some folks I talked to shared with me their confidence in our lawmakers. I hope that the people that I've elected will use the money wisely. So whether it's for this or for something else, that they make wise choices. Others disagreed. We have to get out and vote, make a difference, and let these people know that we're here and we have a voice. Senator Peek tells me Governor Youngkin is considering an emergency session to bring back the holiday. Senator Servell argues the governor is to blame for not prioritizing this sooner. Regardless, parents this year will have to find a way around the loss of this year's tax-free weekend. Back to you. Despite parents now having to pay the tax on their back-to-school products, River Ridge Mall is stepping up to try and help ease the blow. They have a guide that has all the best deals inside so you know the best ways to save. There's also a QR code that enters you into a chance to win a $100 gift card to the mall. LJ Nadal with the River Ridge says this is all about putting you first. The back-to-school needs uh, of our community is a really, um, really big importance for us, and we want to make sure that people are you know, getting, being able to still take advantage of some sales and promotions and deals. You can find those brochures on their information displays throughout the mall. There are additional deals on each store's website that you can check out as well. Thanks for watching the ABC 13 YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos and live coverage and local stories, click to subscribe and download our ABC 13 News app.